big trunk too, you know? <laughs> it's nice, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful car. Look at this. So this is a three, though? This is an Interceptor 2. This is a 2, okay. And in the 72, they went to the Interceptor 3. Okay, that's when I think I was looking at cars, because I remember as a kid, you know, I would, the only place you could really look for cars like this was in the New York Times on a Sunday. Exactly. And I used to get that paper, and I'd sit there and for hours go through. Well, how <laughs> I found this car, I, in 1979, my ex-wife lived on Park in, uh, in 73rd Street, so I had a brand new Cadillac, Cooperville, brown and tan, ice, fire wheels, all shit. Park outside of 73rd Street, came down the next morning, somebody stole it. Oh. So I got another one two weeks later, somebody stole that. So I'm driving on 11th Avenue, and I see this guy that had some strange looking cars in the window. And I told him the story, I said, I want to get something that nobody's not going to steal, you know? He says, what about a Jensen? I says, what's that? <laughs> so you didn't even know, didn't okay. didn't know what it was. And he took me over to this guy's house who lived in uh, Alpine, New Jersey. His name was uh, John Thurow, the Thurow Cancer Hospital in Passaic, New Jersey. Uh. And he had a collection of cars. He had about 15 cars. And he drove around a beat-up Chevrolet station wagon. But he had sold his company, Thurow uh, Tractor Trailer Bodies, which is what he made, to Kid. But he forgot that all the cars were in the company name. So that weekend, he had to sell everything for cash. Oh, gosh. So I went and I bought this, and I, my brother was waiting on a, getting a DeLorean, and I dragged his ass and he bought a Rolls Royce one, but I missed getting a Maserati Ghibli convertible. He oh, oh. Like 10 minutes that he sold for 10 grand. Oh, oh gosh. It's, it's a six, seven hundred thousand. I know, they, they only made, what'd they make, a hundred of them or something, or? Anyways. Yeah, the Ghiblis, yeah, I love those. It's been fun since then, you know? And you've had it that long. So, 74, you said? 79. 79. That's a long time. I said, I got to figure it out. Man. Yeah, wow. And it, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's there. But now it's running good. I had a problem. That, uh, I went from mechanical fuel pump to electric. And uh, that was a problem getting it sorted out. I mean, I, I went through like five different... Fuel pumps. Oh wow! Before he finally got a system that worked. on this car. On this car. On this yeah. car. Wow! And it just makes it a racket too. So I'm not very pleased about it. But uh, when I rebuilt the motor, I think I did something wrong with the uh, mechanical fuel pump, which serviced it well for forever. Didn't seem to pump enough fuel. So rather than taking the engine apart and trying to figure that out, I went electric. Oh, there you go. Beautiful car. Really. This is a two now. The Interceptor yeah, two. Oh yeah, right there. So, so now, what would be different if we were looking at a three? How the much? Inter the interior is different. Right. Um, uh, you know, some side markers are different. Not a lot. I know. Uh, I was going to say. And, and then the threes have louver, louvers on the hood. Ah, okay. Which is the most ridiculous thing because the fuse box is right there. Ah. The water will come in, land on your fuse box. Oh, and then of course we know the English cars with the with the electrics. Forget <laughs> the wiring. It was just a nightmare. Oh gosh, this is. The Series One had a completely different dash, and it was a real cool. Car. I don't know if I've ever seen a Series One. Yeah, I'm going to look them up. And the, the, these overriders are pointed, and, you know, but that's that's about the difference with it. What is your, and your name was Rich. Rich, that's yeah. right. Rich. The thing is that you know, this came with the 383, and then in. Uh, a 383? 72, yeah, 72, they moved up to the 440. So they'd get the motors from Chrysler and put them in. So well, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I never really did research into the... So they have Chrysler engines in them? Yeah. It's so got a 383. So this was designed by Vignali in Italy. So they say it's uh, English craftsmanship, American muscle, wearing an Italian dress. Oh, uh, there you go. It's kind of like how the Pantera was kind of... Yeah, exactly. In, I'm, trying so, to get, I'm trying to get uh, this sourced out because I kind of polished the the, you know, the chrome right off of it, you know. That's oh. Kind of, so I'm trying to find. They don't make these anymore. No, and but chroming. Like, it looks like it looks like the um, 
the Magnum 500, but the offset's a little different. I just uh, see if I can find. Plus, this, you know, after 50 seat, some ideas it gets dead. Oh yeah, no, I mean, I, I think it, you know, it, you have to really look close in order to see what you're talking about. Yeah. 